What's up, everybody? Couch Mills here, coming at you with a brand new Overwatch video. And in this video, we're going to be doing a Bronze Tracer VOD review. Cody Ewell actually put in his code and said, I am a Bronze Tracer. I feel like I do good and do my job. It feels like my team lets me down in the team fight. Please help me find my flaws. And I think this is a common sentiment no matter what role you play. So we're going to break it down and show him and you exactly the big mistakes that you could be making in your games. Go to the Game Leap website if you want more in-depth breakdowns just like this over every single character but without further ado let's jump to the video it's jumping right into this VOD review now he is this tracer and we're gonna watch and see anything that we find okay so the first thing that he's gonna do is he's gonna actually route up and route to the left side I like that you could contest the right or the left typically you want to find an opportunity to go fight either the supports or try to get a pick on a DPS that's alone so let's see what he does here so he ignores the Hanzo, goes into the team, and starts shooting this Lucio. Now, I'm already seeing quite a few problems. So th there's there's a, there's a plus side here. He is getting ult charged. That's cool. The problem is not doing it from safety. He's trying to kill a Lucio in the middle of a Mora and a Diva all pocketing said Lucio. It's just, he's going to waste all of his abilities. There's no way he gets any value here. And it would be a lot better to find some isolated target instead of just doing this. If you're going to just poke for ult, you could do it a lot safer and save and conserve your abilities so that when you see an opportunity, you can use your abilities to capitalize rather than waste all your abilities and effectively not do anything or make any plays here. Because this is going to force him away. He has no abilities. Now he sells his recall, but it's gonna force him away. He didn't really do much there. I do really like this here though. He's gonna chase down the McCree, finish him off. And I will say that the pressure that Tracer created did help them win this fight. Now these are all cleanup kills. I know I'm not saying these kills don't matter. It's just that these are kills that after his team started winning the team fight. Now his distraction definitely helped that, but he didn't get any impactful picks himself. And that's something that's incredibly important that you need to be able to do on Tracer. And I'm gonna point out more scenarios where he could get those type of picks. Finishes off the Lucio, good. Don't know why that Lucio wanted to take that duel. Lucio probably should have kited back to the, the Mega Pack instead of trying to fight a stand there. I actually really like waiting. So this is something that you can do on Tracer. You push up into a really close angle. As long as the enemy doesn't know you're there, you can't let them know you're there because if they do, the McCree's going to pre-flash you and kill you. But you could push up to a very aggressive angle and people often don't check their corners or their angles. And then as the, the enemy team push forward, you let them walk forward and then you go on the person that's in the back. So it's just something that you can definitely do. So yeah, the, you could even push even more forward than this, but this is probably fun. Although, yeah, now you're kind of just ignoring so it's interesting focusing the diva is fine you do build quite a bit of ult charge but realistically you could get more value by actually trying to get a pick on a squishy instead this is something that it's okay to do but then you're playing for pulse bomb and i don't really think that you should be doing this especially down in bronze you can have more impact in other ways But now you are going to get Pulse Bomb, so let's see what you do with it. So you go in, you do get a stick, you do get a kill, that's good. Um, but now you're in the enemy team, you have no abilities to get out, and you basically effectively trade your life for a kill. And you wasted ultimate. So let's actually back this up, because this is really important. And this is a play that I see a lot of Tracers do. What you really want to do is you want to get that Pulse Bomb kill, and then you can recall and disengage. So let's see what you do here. So you actually go in, you Pulse Bomb, and you recall. But instead of running away here and waiting for your cooldowns to reset, you immediately go back in. And you only have one blink right now. You do not have recall. You're at 64 health, and you're trying to kill a Mora that's being pocketed by Mercy. Now, I don't think that your mechanical skill is where it needs to be here regardless like, even if this Mora was alone, it would be hard for you to kill her with how bad you're kind of whiffing here. Well, you want to basically aim neck level here, and you get the most amount of spread between the head and the body. But even so, this is just a really bad decision making, trying to go back into this fight. Because, yeah, you did lose a lot of people, but there's a chance that you could stall this point out more. If you live here, you can definitely stall for sure more, and maybe you even get another pick and stall this fight long enough to where your teammates could regroup. You could potentially turn this fight. Like, there's just so much potential here. But going in like like this just wastes your life 100%. It just kind of wastes all the, the value that you got with your stick. Yeah, you're just gonna die for free. You basically did no damage to Mora or Mercy at all. 
Okay, cool. You want to make sure to follow up with your line. Uh, you didn't really sh shoot at anything there. <laughs> Am I? Wait, wait, wait. Let's back that up. I'm a little bit confused. So you shoot at that diva. Uh, you just shot at the wall for two, like, two bullets. You reload it again. You go to the person that he charged to the wall. You just bypass the diva and the mercy. Like, where's the target priority here, man? They were they were slammed. They were they were easy targets. You're going all over the place. I don't really know what you're doing. Like, right here, just shoot these targets. These huge huge targets right here. You don't need to reload. You definitely don't need to chase the person that he's pinning. Oh, I just I just don't understand what's going on here. And also something that I see, like. If your mechanical skill gets to a certain point, you don't have to run away from fire, like more of fire. Like, sure, you can run away from an orb, but if you're close enough range to her with a certain level of mechanical skill, you deal more damage than she does. So you don't have to just do a little bit of damage to Amora and run away, do a little bit of damage and blink away. Like, you can just fight her and try to kill her because you're really not doing enough burst damage to even touch her. I do like looping back here. This is really good. Looping back and going back in on this back line. Really great. That's, that's an amazing pick. I think that you don't necessarily need to turn around here. You could have just you could have just went back and focused on the Rhine, but it's fine. I mean, your team cleaned up. Yeah, you you should have died there 100%, 1000% against any other McCree, any other McCree. At any other rank, he would have killed you 1000% there because you just didn't play around a flashbang at all. You really didn't play around a flashbang even even in the slightest. Like you you obviously hear him right here. And you ignore that. And then you see him. And here you're like, you need to get the hell out. Or you need to be blinking on purpose to dodge this flash. And you're not doing either of those things. So, of course, he's going to just flash you. I mean, you start shooting at him. So, like, what you can do, especially if the recruiter doesn't see you, what you do is you shoot him a little bit. And then you instantly blink away. Because typically, the first sign of pressure, especially the lower in rank McCree you are fighting, he will instantly flash. And then you can blink away, then blink back, and then actually take the duel. But here, he flashes you. And you don't die... You do have to use recall because he doesn't headshot you, but you should have died like 10,000% you should have died. Like I said, like any better McCree would have killed you. Yeah, this is the, that, that's, that's completely wild that you got that kill. Completely wild. It should have never happened in a million years. In a million years. Like who what are their what are the enemy team's healers healing? Why is their McCree not being healed? He's being healed for a second. Why does their mercy leave him? Let's look. Let's look. Let's look. look. Okay, so she's healing, healing, healing. She leaves him to for what? Who sh I guess she's healing this guy? He's not the one that's weak. Okay, well. The McCree pushed up, but yeah, this <laughs> Like, there's, there's, you die, you end up dying here, and that person gets rezzed anyways. So, like, you overextended, didn't get the kill, shouldn't have ever got the kill in the first place. These are just, like, mistakes piled on top of each other. Oh, no, you, both of y'all get rezzed. Okay. The McCree's gonna get his flash again. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is so bad. So as Tracer, this should never happen. You should never in a, never, ever should you get caught by a May ult. You have three blinks here. You can blink to the left. You could blink straight past them. You could blink out. There's a, you could blink over here and take this little high ground. You could wrap around. Like you hear the noise again, just like you heard the McCree before. Now you're hearing the May ult and you're, you're not doing anything to not get caught in it. Like, you had three blinks and you got caught in a mail. Grouping up, good stuff. You could still, like, even when you're grouping up, though, you can start setting up. Like, you can blink up here and go up to this high ground and start, like, either fighting for it or looking, gathering information for your team or just setting yourself up to make your play. Like, you don't have to wait here. The last thing you want to do is have your team already push in and you have to use blinks to catch up to them so you fight at the same time when you don't want to have to use blinks to catch up. You want to use your blinks to convert on a, a kill, an impact frag, or something like that, not to catch up to your team, to time the team fight at the same time. 
Yeah, just just go after that Winston. No, 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 no. You should have chased that Winston. You can beat a Winston in a 1v1 so easily as Tracer. They can't do enough damage back to you to kill you, especially if you are really crafty with how you're blinking in and away from them because their head hitbox is so big that you can just literally just burst them down to half in like a single clip. And if they want to chase you, if they ever get you low or they want to chase you or they want to raise resources or they want to jump after you, you can recall away, blink away, and then they're going to get caught out and die to your teammates. So like Winston's a matchup that you can take all all day every day as tracer and just force that monkey to leave if he's not you know just force him to respect you here i want to see a sick pulse bomb um yeah so typically the best way to hit a pulse bomb is you want to get like point blank like you really want to be like on top of the target tracking their body that's going to be the most consistent way to get pulse bombs because here you just wasted recall you wasted a pulse bomb got no value now you can't even make a play you have to wait nine seconds until you make a player so you're probably going to feed consistent value is going to be pulse bombing things like diva to get her demacked or a monkey make sure that diva doesn't have ult but these are things that you can look for as you get better with pulse bomb you can go against go towards other targets but like here i think that if you would have just went with a consistent value like a tank it would have been like almost a sure team fight win so now i'm really curious about how you're going to take this duel you're going into their back line there's one of their supports is dead so you can really like like that guy is not looking at you he doesn't know you're there and you did zero damage to him. Nearly zero. Look. That's like none. That's that's literally no damage. Okay, it's not literally no damage. You did a tiny bit of damage, but you should have killed him or it got him to half. He doesn't under he doesn't know you're there. Go chase that more. Chase that more. Killer, killer, killer. Kill the Mercy. Nice. Kill the Diva. Finish her off. Stay on target. Just just a, a, a little bit of a lack of map awareness. A little bit all over the place. You're, you're not doing anything bad, and I really do think that you're above bronze level. But I think uh, when you rank up to silver, you're gonna have a really hard time going past that. For a lot of these just very simple things, your your target priority is is really off at times. You often waste many of your abilities. Your mechanical skill is just not to the level it needs to be. There's times where you put yourself in the proper position to make a play, but you can't convert on it because your mechanical skill is just not there. You don't respect enemies, which is fine when your enemies are bronze, but if you go up against anyone better, you're just not gonna be able to win. Yeah, there's just a number of issues. And of course, I expect you to have these issues. I'm not saying that it's a terrible thing that you have these issues. What I'm, I, what I am saying is, this is the stuff that you need to work on. Like, also, AFKing at the start of a game is probably not what you should be doing. I really think that if I were to give you some actionable tips to improve, like right now, engage off your cooldown cycles. If you do not have two blinks and your recall, just poke from a distance. You don't have to be right up on top of a diva to poke at her. You don't have to be crazy close. You could take a high ground, you could poke her from afar, play safe, wait for your recall, wait for some blinks, get close to enemies, and then use your blinks to try to get a kill or get damage, use your recall to get out, and then wait again. Don't, don't go in again. Wait again for another nine seconds. Then re-go in. I would highly suggest trying to blink as close as possible to get pulse bombs off. Tanks are going to be far easier targets. You can also go practice in a training room with unlimited pulse bombs. That's a great way to practice your pulse bombs on any target. You're going to get far more consistent. And then when you go in for the pulse bomb, whether you hit or miss and recall, if a target's low, you could maybe try to finish them off. If they're not, back up, reset, wait for your recall to come back, wait for your blinks to come back before you re-engage. I would also highly suggest honing your mechanical skill i don't know if you're on console don't know if you're on pc but regardless either way you are not at the level that you need to be if you want to convert on a lot of these kills matchups like winston matchups like mora with the right amount of mechanical skill you can win these in the 1v1 but you will never ever beat a mora in a 1v1 if you can't get a certain amount of damage out as she like damages you it's just never gonna happen or if she heals herself if you can't damage her to a certain amount of burst damage it's never ever gonna happen so these are very important things. These are things that I highly would suggest you practice. And just always remember that 
you can do more. As Tracer, there is so much you could potentially do. I explained in one fight how if you would have lived, there's so much you could have done to set up for the next fight and the next fight and the next fight. It's just basically like an infinite amount of impact you can have. As long as you're alive, as long as you're constantly making plays, you're thinking about not only the fight you're in, but the fight after that. So these are all the tips I would give for you. And I really hope you learned something, kind of open your eyes to some of the things that you can work on to completely hard carry these games with just a few alterations. But if you have any questions, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Go to that Game Leap website if you want more in-depth breakdowns about VOD reviews just like this. Thank you so much for coming by. Hope you enjoyed the video. I love your faces, and I'll see you next time.